Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm just from MLB Baseball Blogs, and guys, as you guys may have known, I'm here to do a little New York Yankees commentary right now for a little while, and let's get started. So you guys may have known that Andy Pettit already has already going to announce his retirement on Friday afternoon, and he had an awesome career winning. He was a 1996 All-Star. He was the 1996 Good Guy Award from the New York uh, Sports Photographers, uh, Greater Houston um, Area Major League player. I don't know what kind of award that is. Um, he had two stints with the New York Yankees and one stint with the Houston Astros. Um, his Houston Astros career was only from 04 to 06. Um, he was a 21st round draft pick by the Yankees in the 1990 MLB draft. Uh, his career statistics was Andy Pettit was 20, uh, 240 and 138. Uh, his earn one average uh, for the all year for the 16 years he pitched in the majors was a 3.88, uh, striking out 2,251. All right, so many of me, you guys are saying from here the Yankees are screwed. I don't think so that they are. They're still looking for more pitching right now. Their rotation goes like this: at number one you got CC Sabathia, number two. This is very shockingly you have Phil Hughes who really broke out last season, and at number three. You got A.J. Burnett, who had a struggling season last year. And the number four and number five hit, uh, pitchers, uh, number five, Sergio Mitri, was, is currently was out of the bullpen last year, um, is now in the starting rotation. And then number four, um, minor league uh, uh, pitcher for the Yankees was Ivan Nova. Ivan Nova did not come into the play in the Yankees rotation until when Javier Vasquez last year um, was having struggles in the rotation, so the Yankees put him down in the bullpen, and they took Ivan Nova and put him in the rotation. Nova had a good here and there, but he did not really get the job done, so the Yankees are going to go into the spring training and see what he can do. So what you guys are saying is that the Yankees, they need help. Yeah, they need help in their pitching rotation, but some people say there are no more great pitchers out there to do. And they need like a hitter, just one more good hitter you can put at DH, even though that's uh, Jorge Posada's role this year after the Yankees sign uh, Russell Martin to a cat to a starting catcher, and then him and Francisco Cervelli will be having uh, on and off days on who's going to be starting catcher. So I think the hitter that the Yankees should be pushing at right now is former Cincinnati Red shortstop Orlando Cabrera. Um, he's getting into age. He can still hit. Uh, last year he had his times on the DL. He can, he can, he's a really great hitter to have on your lineup. Say when Derek Jeter's having a day off, why not put him in? Uh, well, also you have Romero Pena. Uh, Romero Pena plays both second and shortstop. I think you can want to put him at shortstop and move Romero Pena over to second baseman so that if Jeter and Cano both have an off day, you can put at shortstop uh, Orlando Cabrera if they were to sign him, and second baseman can be Romero Pena. So that's a really good hit that the Yankees should try to go for. And now here is what you guys are thinking about. Who should the Yankees go for in pitching? As you guys may have known that Kevin Millwood, there are many teams. This guy has been on the hot wire for like the longest time. Uh, where would this guy sign? I thought that Kevin Millwood would be already signed by now. The Baltimore Orioles want him. Breaking news that the Cleveland Indians are making a push for him. Uh, the Kansas City Royals. Uh, you, the list just goes on and on. This guy is a really great person to have in your bullpen or your pitching rotation in your bullpen, um, but he's most likely in the pitching rotation. If the Yankees were to sign him, I can see him being either in the fourth role, uh, putting I think it would go CC Sabathia, AJ Burnett, Phil Hughes, and then maybe Kevin Millwood. the The next picture I want to talk to you guys about is he had he did, he missed out on a season. His name is Ben Sheets. Ben Sheets. Um, the Yankee, no one's talking about this guy, but the, yeah, he's a good pitcher to have on your pitching rotation. And why not go for Ben Sheets? He's a good pitcher. Yeah, he, he missed out uh, the 2009 campaign. So big deal. He came back. He did semi-good with, with, the, with the Oakland Athletics. And from there, he, he's a good pitcher to have on your rotation. It's, now it's just crunch time for the Yankees. You have to sign a pitcher. Because you're not going to do well with Ivan Nova and Sergio Romitri unless they really do something in spring training going into the season. So I think that the best bet is for either the Yankees to sign Millwood or Ben Sheets. And the last pitcher I want to talk to you guys about is Jeff Supon. Now this guy is kind of tricky. This guy, he's good to have on your, on your 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 in your pitching rotation, but yet 
He has, for the past couple of years, he had a high ERA at the end of the season. Uh, he doesn't really get out of innings. Um, from it's, it's just pretty hard for the Yankees to talk about signing him. I had I was reading over on MLBTradeRumors.com saying that the Yankees, at the beginning of the offseason, were thinking about signing him because they missed out on Cliff Lee. Now they're talking about getting Felix Hernandez. I don't know who they're going to trade for Felix Hernandez unless you're talking about trading like Nick Swisher or Curtis Granderson for this guy and get a package going for uh, the Cy Young winner. I, I'm just I'm just shocked right now. It's just how the Yankees. I thought the Yankees would go into this off season signing Cliff Lee. I would never put the Yankees at this time of a struggle to get a pitching rotation going. But if, from there, if the Yankees were to sign that uh, Kevin Millwood, I think the Yankees are gonna have a better shot at signing Millwood because the Yankees still have that a bunch of money to sign because they have, they've only signed um, some big minor league players. Uh, the, the biggest player they've actually signed this offseason was actually uh, Rafael Soriano uh, and Russell Martin. So let's just hope the Yankees can just try to get something going this, uh, in the last couple of di uh, weeks until uh, pitchers and the hitters report to their spring training complexes. So these are the biggest three players. You want to get Kevin Millwood, Ben Sheets, and Jeff Supon. But Jeff Supon is still uh, th that, one of those pitchers who is really tricky to have in your rotation. The Cardinals had him and the Brewers had him last year. And yet he didn't pull through for either of those teams. Uh, Orlando Cabrera is still a guy that the Yankees should be pulling for right now. Most likely, uh, Orlando Cabrera could retire, maybe not. Um, he's that age. He's getting close to that age. He's still a great hitter, no doubt. So let's talk. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm just for MLB Baseball Blocks. Hope to talk to you guys soon. Let's see what the Yankees can do for the rest of this offseason. Can they get a pitcher to be in their pitching rotation? I'm Justin, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.